The decompression valve sits above the exhaust valve there and just sort of screws in. And if you have a look at the very back there, there's just a little pinhole. As the piston comes up, it's activated by the kickstarter and can just let some of that compression out. I took the decompression valve off because it, it sits in front of the motor and like that bit's all exposed and you know, when I take it off it'll just smash against the frame or something like that plus I've got it serviced at some point anyway. Basically how it works is that seals against the, against the motor there. The, um, when the piston comes up a little, there's a little hole there and they can just go into that thing there. It's activated by the starter motor and just pushes that in there, not the starter motor, the kickstarter. When you when you kick start up kicks down, it gives it a pull like that when you're kicking it, and that just lets the exhaust gas go into that through there and out that hole which goes in the top of the exhaust port. So that's no big deal. The um, that seals against there. This bit here, the cable, this way around, the cable just sits on there, and the and the end of the cable goes there. So when that pulls on it, it just goes like that. And. Split pin on the end there, this comes off. That's it, just pushes down like that, pushes against the, the plunger there. Comes up, not even a seal against there, it just rattles around. Uh, this seal there to seal it off from the gases coming out. And this is the plunger, and the plunger is like a little a little valve, like that that's obviously hard in there, but this stuff's really tight metal, so it's very hard. Little o ring there to stop it from leaking through, and that's basically it. There's a little little line around here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but just a little, little silver line around there, and there where it seals against. I might get some valve grinding paste and lap that in just to make sure that's dead even, but it looks like it, there's a few spots there where it's not so even, so I'll valve grind that in place, and that, that should be it. You can only just see the edge of a line there, so I'll just make that better. My main concern here is that if I if I get any valve grinding paste in there I can grind it away and I don't think I can get those o-rings anymore. I will check but if I can't get those o-rings I, I, I can't take that o-ring off but I'll probably break it. It still sort of seals at the moment so I've got to leave it so a bit of grease there push it in. That cloth there was just so that I poke the cloth in there and the idea is here that any valve grinding paste that I'm playing with on the outside won't make it through to the to the end there where it goes up and down inside the shaft. I'm using, because I don't want to put the end of the drill onto the fine thread there, it's quite small and soft and weak, I'm just going to put two nuts, double nut it, and that should be good enough for the drill to go on. It's not perfect but it'll do the job. You can see there's a line there in the middle so it's not that good so I'll have another go at it but now that I've got a bit of experience at it I'll just freehand it like this and I think I'll do the same job. The idea is that the pointing downwards the, the valve grinding paste will sort of fall down and push up, fall down, push up, it'll be a nice, much nicer way to do it. That looks good enough, I'll put a bit of high temperature grease on the actuating part and that should be it.